we can find slope is from a graph. So for this example, I want to first describe the slope of each line, and then I'm going to find the slope. So describing the slope, I'm looking to see is it positive, negative, zero, or undefined. Well, I see that this one looks like it's going downhill. So if I were to draw my little guy again, he is skiing down the hill, so that means this one's negative. And now I'm actually going to find the slope. So I recommend just, I think it's a little bit easier to start with the lower point and then go to the higher point. And so remember that our slope is our rise over our run. So I see to get from this point to this point, I rise up two, and then I go to the left, one, two, three, four, five. So I went up two, that was my rise, and I went to the left, five. And so since I went to the left, that's going to be negative. So anything, anytime we go to the left, that's going to be negative. Anytime we go down, that's also going to be negative. And that's because you're going to smaller numbers on the x or y axis. Okay, let's try this next one. So starting up here, going here. I see this one I'm going uphill. So if I draw my little guy again, he has to climb up the hill. So that means this one's positive. And then I see I go up one, two, three, four. Go up four. And then I go to the right one, two, three, four, five, six. And so that means that my slope is going to be my rise four over my run six. However, I can simplify that fraction by dividing two from top and bottom. And so I really get that my slope is two thirds. And so you could go the other way. I could instead of said, okay, from this point to the bottom point, I'm going down um, six and sorry, down four into the left six. So that would have been four over negative four over negative six. But if you remember, two negatives make a positive, so this still would have been two thirds. So it's okay which other, which way you go, it will still come out to the same. And so like same thing over here, if I start over here, I would have gone down two and to the right five, so I would just have a negative with the two instead of the five, but those still are the same thing. Okay, go ahead and pause the video and try and find the slope of that last one and to describe it. Okay, so first you should have gotten that this one was positive. And then this one was actually a little bit tricky. And the reason why it was tricky was that the units were different on this graph. If you notice, that second one's four instead of two. And so that means each increment is going up by two. And so this point being halfway means that's only one. Then I add two to that, it's three, five. And so it actually goes up seven. And then it goes over one and a half, so that's really going to be three. So here you should have gotten seven thirds as your answer. Okay, that's it for this video, and go on to the next one where we will talk about finding slope from a table.